Let me show you this easy tutorial on Memcache so that you can make your website really fast like big e-commerce websites. This is really important for dynamic websites or if you're an e-commerce website or if you have really big blog or a portfolio website. But before that, I want to give you a technical overview how Memcache works. Okay, as you can see on my screen, I created this graphics. Comment down below and let me know if this graphics was helpful for you. Okay, when somebody opens their website on their browser, it sends a request to server. And server interacts with the database. And let's say it took 3 seconds to get back the response. And this database is stored on disk. Disk is like hard drive on your computer. It's the same concept on server also. Server got disk. And now let's see what happens when you use database caching. So when you use database caching, the small cache of the database is stored on the server. Or you can say stored on the disk of the server. And this cache contains the common data requested frequently by users. For example, list of blog posts, list of prices, list of shipping charges. It can be a lot of different dynamic data. So what happens now when someone opens your website, the code requests the data from the small database cache. It is not requesting from the huge database. And because it is small database cache, so it took less time for this code to get this data. For example, now using database cache, the code is getting this data in 1.5 seconds. But now let's see what happened in memcache. Okay, you can see this graphics before we are using the database cache. So taking this data from this database cache was taking 1.5 seconds. But when we take copy of this small database cache, we store this cache on RAM. Here, this database is on disk or SSD or hard drive of a server. With help of the memcache, we store this small database cache on RAM. Yes, server also got RAM. It is same like our computer. It got RAM, it got hard drive but different kind of specification and different operating system. And if you don't know, RAM is the fastest memory. And when the code fetch the data from the RAM, because this is a fast memory, it took 0.3 seconds. So this is how you can make your website really fast if you can use the memcache. Okay, now let's see how to know if memcache is enabled on your server or not. And then I'll show you how you can enable it on your server. In order to know if memcache is enabled on your server, you can install a popular plugin like Lightspeed Cache or WC Total Cache. If you're using Lightspeed Cache, go to Object Cache and you will see here status. You can see memcache extension enabled. Or you can install W3 Total Cache to know this thing. So go to General Setting in W3 Total Cache and under the Object Cache, you will see this drop down. And you will see here if memcache is enabled or not. If it is not enabled, it will be something like this. You can see if I hover on these options, this option not highlighting. But when I hover on memcache, it is highlighting. And there is another matter which is Redis. I created a whole video on Redis, which is more advanced than memcache. But the problem with Redis is it is not available on all the hostings. But memcache is widely available on most of the hosting. So if you want to watch that video, how you can use Redis cache, check the description of this video. But memcache also really fast. Okay, once we make sure if memcache is not enabled on your website, let's see how we can enable that. Okay, so you need to go to your website hosting cPanel and then you will find this option select PHP version. Or if you have some other kind of panel, you can find PHP modules or PHP packages. And then click on this one and then you will see this kind of page where you can see all the extension enabled on your server. So when you scroll the page, you will find this option memcache. If this is not enabled like this, you can just click on this one and you can enable this option. Okay, so now once you enable this option, it is really easy to use memcache. Once it is enabled on your server, you can use a plugin like Lightspeed Cache and from Object Cache, turn this option on. And you can see it is already enabled on the server. And now your WordPress website will use this fast cache stored on the RAM of your server. Using W3 Total Cache plugin, go to Object Cache and then from this drop down, choose memcache. And then save setting and purge cache. And that's it. Now your WordPress website is ready to serve dynamic content with very fast speed. Let me know in comment if you are able to enable that memcache and use memcache on your WordPress website. If not, just let me know in comments. I'm gonna try to help you as much as I can. And if you want to watch the detailed video on Redis Cache, check out this video on screen. And if you want to know how I got 100 out of 100 scores for my WordPress website, check this video on screen.